So basically, guys, we have left off at uh, the code. Now, we have it did it the way we want it to be. Now we do execute script. Here it is, Dolce Panna Trainer. And if I click here, it will take me to my website, dolcepana.com. So, this is how you edit basic editing without going any, any anywhere deeper. Well, you can, uh, you can always make your own tests and see what you can edit, how you can edit it, what you can do, and how you can probably ruin the code, or uh, make it the way you want it to be. Well, trainer was made by Dolce Panna, activate all as we want it to be. Here you see Monster Buster Super Trainer version 1.0 and uh, so on and on. Now, how do you save this trainer? Now, it's not that big of a deal or that hard to do, but let me show you. Now, supposedly I want to take even the icon from this guy, so I'll, I'll just go Cheat Engine, the one I use, of course. Here is the Lua table uh, and file, save as. Then I'll go to choose exe, cheat engine trainer standalone exe. I'll save it to my desktop, I'll name it, sorry, Monster Busters Super Trainer. Then I'll save it, and it'll ask me, does is it a 32 or 64 bit? I'm using a 64 bit, but I I've found out that 32 bit trainers are more uh, stable, so I'll leave it as always at a 32 bit, and it'll run on all Windowses, on all uh, yeah, all Windowses. I'll leave it gigantic because it'll have all the ne the needed tools to run. Compression will be none. It'll be a, li a little bit bigger, but once you make it RR, R A R archive, win. Uh, it'll it'll be become like a three megabytes or so. But normally it'll go around eight nine megabytes doesn't really matter if you want it to be cool and if you want it to be stable. Now, you can always play with the functions and see what you can pull out. It's always your job. Now, here you can choose the icon, the exe icon. Now, in my case, I want to take his icon because I want I want to make a double of his own trainer and make it my own. Now, I found the trainer here it is. If it's a different program, it may not work, but seeing that it's a trainer, we just point at it and we say, hey, I want this icon. I open it, and here it is. So I generate the trainer. The trainer has been, and you wait, of course, and then you get this message, the trainer has been successfully generated, okay. Then you click hit X, you can copy this entire code and save it somewhere so you can have you know like a like a backup like a backup or something then you close every single every single thing connected to cheat engine and then then you go and see your trainer now the question is here, 926 megabytes. The question is, does this trainer work? Of course it works. Start it. And there you have it. Your own trainer. See? And the, it, the effort done here was only to take the code, the ready code. Uh, now, remember those two websites. This one. I will leave in the description like that.
and this one you can always um you can always use the one you like best or the one that works for you quite frankly i'm not the one to give a damn but it's your choice you may find even something of your own i found those in like few minutes using google and just keep in mind that google is your friend like um hex to text online converter and there you have it converting string that come and code decode text to hex etc 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 string functions you see basically you can find a whole lot of that shit a whole lot you can use and you can freak out so enjoy guys and uh, let me know